Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to create this beautiful speedometer animation using PowerPoint. I will also show you a trick like how to accurately rotate any shape perfectly to a given position. This tutorial will be very interesting, so please watch it completely. Without any further delay, let's get started. As usual, let's first enable the guides and then drag and place the horizontal guide at one unit as shown. Next right click on this slide and choose format background. Using eyedropper tool, apply darker shade color to the background. Next go to insert tab, shapes and then select a oval shape. Draw a circle shape through center of both the guides holding down control and shift keys. Make it no fill and change the outline color using eyedropper tool. Now expand the line section under format shape tab and increase the outline weight to somewhere around 8 points. Next go to insert tab and select the arc shape. Draw a arc shape through center of both the guides holding down control and shift keys. Change the outline color using eyedropper tool and increase its weight to four and a half points. Also increase the arc length on either side as shown and adjust the size. Now set its cap type to round to make its edges rounded. Next go to insert tab and then draw a oval shape. Draw a circle shape at the bottom of big circle as shown. And make sure both the circles are vertically aligned. Now adjust the arc length keeping this small circle as reference and then subtract small circle from big circle outline shape. Next go to insert tab and then draw a 32 point star shape holding down control and shift keys. Adjust the shape using edit point. Then remove its outline and also change its fill color. Next go to insert tab and then draw a hollow circle shape. Make sure this hollow circle shape is slightly smaller than the big circle shape. Reduce its width to very small length and then fragment it with the star shape. Since there will be too many fragments, let's cut and paste all these shapes into new slide. Now here comes the most boring part. Among these fragments, we need to keep only intersecting fragments between hollow circle and the star shape. So let's drag all unnecessary fragments carefully and place them aside. The small fragments that we see in a circular pattern are the one we need for our design. So let me speed up and drag away all unnecessary fragments. Finally, select all these unnecessary fragments and delete them. Now among the left or small fragments, we don't need bottom few shapes. Let's drag and select three shapes on the right. 
three shapes on the left and obviously one in the middle and then delete them. Now these shapes will suit our design. So drag and select them, group them together and then cut and paste them into the main slide. Next go to insert tab, draw a 16 point star shape as shown and then adjust the size. Now again go to insert tab, draw a hollow circle shape over the star shape and reduce the width as shown. Following the same steps as before, let's select the star shape and the hollow circle shape and then fragment them together. Next drag all unnecessary fragments and keep them aside. Let me speed up to save time. Now select all these unnecessary fragments and delete them. Next drag and select left out fragments and group them together. Also on the right side pane, let's remove its outline and then format it with two step linear gradient. Adjust the stop positions and change their color to bright and dark shade of blue color as shown. Also change its direction and increase the gradient angle. Now that looks perfect. Next duplicate the outer arc shape, align it at the same position and then reduce its size to match the inner design pattern. Reduce the outline width to one point. Change its color to dark grey and then finally reduce its length on either side. Next go to insert tab, select the oval shape and then draw a small circle shape at the center holding down control and shift keys. Make it no fill and change its outline color. Now again go to insert tab and this time draw a triangle shape. Remove its outline and change its fill color using eyedropper tool. Drag and place this triangle shape at the center of our design. Adjust the size and make sure it is aligned to the center. Next we will make this triangle shape to rotate through center of our design. For that, let's duplicate this triangle shape using Ctrl plus D, rotate it in opposite direction and align it just below the original triangle shape as shown. As an important step, make this triangle shape no fill and then group both the triangle shapes together. Now if we rotate this group, it rotates through the center of our design. Now let's add all numerical text fields onto our design. Let me speed up to save time. So far so good. 
Next, let's draw six circle shapes around our design and to start, let's place it at the numerical value of 30 as shown. Remove its outline, change its fill color and then apply outer shadow effect. Match the shadow color with the fill color of the circle shape and increase its blur value to 100 points. Finally, duplicate this circle shape 5 more times by dragging it holding down Ctrl key and place them at different values of 70, 110, 150, 90 and 230. Let's add all remaining text fields and then finalize the design. So here is the final preview. Please comment and let me know if you like this speedometer design. Tomorrow itself, I will post another video covering the animation portion of this tutorial. It will be very interesting animation, so don't miss it. Until then, stay tuned and see you tomorrow.